Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here and today we're back for another video and we are actually giving a shout out today to all these awesome subscribers here. So, I might not know how to pronounce some names so do not, <laughs> okay, let's just start. TJ2Wavy, he asked for a shout out, so he gets a shout out, he gets a shout out. And the Great Midas 21, Congrats on 1,000 subs. Let's go for 5,000 next. Video suggestion. Maybe make an online scrolling battle royale shoot. We actually might make that, but it just takes a lot of work. Rajesh Reina. This comment is uh, not about the game, but your progress. You're doing an amazing job. We all know how much hard work, or how hard work you put in every video and so much thought. Only a genius like you can make these awesome games. Hi, I'm your big fan. That's Conquin Senton Mo. <laughs> okay. Uh, Speed of Rana, the tech boy. First. Zappy Zombie. First. Game Titan. So he's also a cool YouTuber. You can check out his channel. Nice. Looking like a good series. Wow. Arnav Singh. Wow. I will create this game. Thanks for the tutorial. Amita Gosh. Me and my sister are your big fan. Re and Rose. Wow, this tutorial is so great. Aryuk Toyner. Remember me, I am a curator of your studio. My my username is Alan the Programmer. Trayman Mudurtha. Really good tutorial, thanks. And plus if you if you didn't get to go in our studio, you can join it right now. Pause this video and join the studio right now, right now. So yeah, I think the links are in the description, so you can get that in the studio really quickly. So anyways, let's just move on to our Fairly Breaks game. Okay, before I start, please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below for what else content you want. And plus, I will share this project, so do uh, you can actually check it out if you have any problems, and you can look review the code on your own. So if you do not have this code right here for the player, then you are incorrect. So okay, um, I just fixed that. So let's go to the obstacles. We have not done that yet. Trees, power up. Laser. Pause whenever you need to. So, yeah, you can pause right now if you want to. And we're gonna work on the obstacles. So, anyway, we have to make a my block called Obstacle HP. I think that's how you spell obstacle. Yes, that's a useful obstacle. And technical difficulties, so that did not work. The scratch could not save the project, so I actually did all this. So um, we have to make a my block and make it obstacle HP. And then you get um, a variable, also there already is one, and set obstacle HP to one. So I have one HP and you just shoot it once with a laser. Well, some things have more HP than others, so you need an if then statement. If then the, um, the, the costume, the costume number, equals rock one costume name equals rock one because that's the first rock right here rock one rock two yeah we'll discuss these two later and then or it's the rock two then i'll have two hp so i'll have two hp instead of one and then it'll set obstacle HP to two. Else, if it's not one of these, then it's then it's another. Um, it's only one HP. So 
We can also do costume name. We should just duplicate this. Change this to wall, the one with three HP. And motorcycle, the one with three HP. And then instead, set the costume HP to three. Wall, and motorcycle. Make sure you match the name of the things or else it will be incorrect. So we have this done and there's also some other code we have to work on. Like when the green flag is clicked, it will go to X200. So it'll be near this side and, and it'll pick random the Y. So we can do that, so pick random negative 115 to positive 50. So it's somewhere over here. And then you can also define obstacle HP. Also show. And we're done with this. There's, also, there's barely any code left, so you can just finish this quickly in a slam. So when I receive when I receive an obstacle destroy, they all hide. No, when, when I receive start game event, it will go forever. Change X by minus one, so it will be moving to the left. Minus five. Sorry. And you need an if then statement. Uh, if the if the x position is less than negative two forty, x position is less than negative two forty. Then, so this um x position thing. So when the motorcycle is driving down the lane and it hits this place, it'll go back up here. It'll teleport behind here. So yeah. And it'll also go to 200. Y, pick random, negative 115 to 50, and switch costume to, So pick random costume, so I'll pick random one to five, because there's five costumes. But uh, uh, pretend you add another costume, then you'll have to add six costumes. Ah, uh, uh, my, my bad, there's actually six costumes, not five costumes. And if, if you were to add another costume, like, like a Nina Pop, then you will have to change it to seven costumes. And also, you'll also do the block obstacle HP. So we can also do, so it will send this message and to here. So then um, it will pick from a crate, a ball, a rock, a rock two, a wall, or this. And this will set its HP or what it is. So you also need an if then statement. If then it's touching the player, it will hide. So it blew up and the player killed it, but it loses HP. And it'll go to. You just have to duplicate this. One. Go to this and broadcast lose HP. The player will lose HP when it hits it. And also it'll wait one second. Switch costume to pick random one to six. Okay. So, um, 
you need obstacle HP down here and show. We're almost done and then when it receives obstacle destroy then it will hide and start sound pop Also change score by five. It'll wait one second. Also go to this position. Go to X two hundred. Pick random. Negative 115 to 50. Next costume. Obstacle HP. So send that again. And show. So it should be working. So let's test it out. So we have not coded the loose HP. So you're completely invincible. So we can also change this to pick random. So it's more fun. So let's try out the game and I will uh, code the loose HP and show you that. Let's pick purple. So as you can see, it breaks the motorcycles correctly and the crates and the soccer ball. I did not hit that. And then this, and then, so we will actually be coding the, um, the player in lose HP. So when I receive lose HP it will change HP by minus 10 it will change HP by minus 10 and then you need an if then statement the if then statement so I'm just going to adjust those and then you need an if then statement if then the HP equals zero so we oh, I'll just get this one because I already have it the HP is equal zero or less than zero so let's just type zero zero No point in direction, negative 90. And I'll flip over, that's basically what it is. And then I'll, I'll also code the music real quick. Backdrops, when green by clicked, forever. You can do any sound you want. I'm using, I think I'm using dance space. And also, um, I'll set volume to 25 or so. So we're fixing the left and right arrow keys. So as you can see, the thing, it goes, the car goes all the way down into the, um, the road and it does not look good. So we will be changing that. So as you can see, um, if the key, you just have to duplicate this and change it slightly. Put this one inside. Instead, you need X position. One sixty-five, and then you take out that. It depends for you. negative 165 and then I I'll just put that inside after when I make the second script and then I just gotta change that to right arrow and that's you need to exposition in negative 
positive 165. And I'll just throw this all the way. So I'll just play the game. So I'm going to pick Yelp. So as you can see, So sorry about that, that was not working. You could not move um, right or left, so I'm just gonna change that up a bit. So if the X position is greater than negative 165, then, then and this is 165 positive, So this is basically the, um, the, this is like a basically a boundary. So, um, basically, uh, this boundary does not, uh, it stops you from, uh, getting on the right too far or the left too far. And it's optional for you, I guess, if you don't want it, it's fine with you, but uh, some people want it, I guess. And then as you can see, the crate takes one hit to break. Um, the, the rocks take two hits. The soccer wall takes one hit. The brick wall takes three hits. And this thing takes two hits. Okay, three. And as you can see, these, these are the score. And then this is power. And this is hard. So all our functions saved up to this game. And I hope. So we're gonna change up the code a little bit to to show you the loss to make it lose. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. So. As you can see, die. I think we actually have rotation style left right on, so we can change that to not left right on, so we put that over. So let's try it. Well, you can actually make it 10 HP if you want it to be more challenging, but a soccer ball just broke my car. So let's just change the HP back to 100. So if you have any bugs or problems, message me, I'm Gumball098, and you can also join our studio. So as you can see, I do have we do have a studio, so my studios, I go to, I'm, I'm gonna show you, oh, someone made a Battle Cats, that's very cool, I play Battle Cats too, and it's Kids Coding Playground official, link in the description, and we might be sharing these games in our channel, like Space Dash, this looks pretty cool, um, this Ninja Platformer also looks pretty cool too, so yeah. If, if you join, thank you. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below for what else videos you want. See you guys. Oh yeah, and don't forget to comment so or else you might get shout out into maybe. So.